It was very satisfying because next stop is Bonneville. good for us to get humbled a little bit at Arkansas with that car. You know, you can't always be the best and you're not always going to be the fastest. It's the reaction to the action that impressed me out of all the guys at the shop. And so this was the chance that if we had to make sure it was right, and that's the reason that it was out there, you know, to just ensure that all the work that was done on it really took care of the issues that it had. Because it was, uh, it was a, it had a mind of its own before. I hit the rev limiter at the mile and a half at 8,800, so whatever that is. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's probably around 2.30. I come from the school, it's either going to work or it's not, so let's find out where it doesn't work. You know, I pulled on on the track and, you know, went a little, you know, just kind of got on a little bit. I knew the minute I pushed the gas pedal, we had a real hot rod. That moment, I had a lot of more confidence than I did when I was tightening the seat belts extra tight. Well, it's working with professionals, and that, that's very obvious. You know, every single person knows what they're doing, gets it done, and so of course that instills quite a bit of confidence that you know that you gonna we get to the salt, it's gonna be right, and we're gonna go out there and get it done. Awesome. That Ford's in hunt and kill mode and that Roush 8 mode, Roush 8's engine ain't no joke.